Hello learners, this is self Touch, and in this part we will learn about Vagrant which is a kind of virtual machine means how to handle virtual machines. This is a beginner course on virtual machines basically related to Vagrant. We will not go into the detail of Vagrant but we will see how powerful it is and how it is easy to create your own development environment in Vagrant. So, the first and the most important thing that comes into our mind is why there is a need for a virtual machine. So, most of the people are having a Windows as their host machine, but sometime a work comes there and there is a need for some Linux environment or say Mac OS environment or suppose a, anyone is having Mac OS environment but there is a need for Windows environment. So, either we have to install another operating system side by side to our present operating system let's say we are having windows operating system and we need a ubuntu system then either we can install a side by side machine of ubuntu so either we can use windows or either we can use ubuntu but a more uh, nice approach for this is installing a virtual machine environment in your computer in your host machine and then running up a new virtual machine inside it so basically two companies are there two most important companies are there that support virtual machines means making of virtual machines uh, is just a magic by using this these two uh, softwares one is the vmware and another is a virtual box virtual box is basically provided by oracle so what happens these two software vmware and virtual box these create a virtual environment inside windows so we are basically focusing that our host machine is windows and we want to create or we want to run a virtual machine which can be any linux flavor so li linux machine come in many different flavor like ubuntu centos red hat uh, suzy linux and many more are there so we are just focusing on U the important one the most famous one that is ubuntu centos and red hat so what happens suppose a work comes that we have to set up a http server in we have to use the http server so what we'll do we'll try to because it is easy to set up a http server in a linux machine so what we'll do we'll first download the software say vmware or virtualbox and then we'll download a image that is a virtual machine image and we'll use these two software what vmware and virtualbox to run those images so inside a host machine we can create a number of virtual machines so suppose my host machine is windows so i can create a ubuntu virtual machine or i can create a centos virtual machine or i can create a red hat virtual machine and these virtual machines uh, we can give the memory limit by our own means how much we want them to share with the host operating system suppose our host has a uh, ram memory of 10 gb then we can give a 2 gb 2 gb 2 gb to each so we can run three virtual machines so at a time we are running four machines one is the host machine windows and three other virtual machines ubuntu centos and red hat but we'll be learning about how to set up machines using virtual box means virtual box and vmware how to set up a virtual environment using virtual box and vagrant means uh, most of the people have been uh, ha have used virtual machines by using vmware or virtual box they use a gui for that but what vagrant provides is a top layer above these virtual machine environment and they makes us life very easy so First, we'll see the installation of Vagrant and VirtualBox. So we are using Vagrant and that is being provided by the VirtualBox. So Vagrant is a top layer of our VirtualBox to make our life easy. So first, we'll download Vagrant. So I've given the link here and you can use this link to go to the site or you can directly search uh, in your browser for Vagrant and it will give you the link where to download the Vagrant software. 
so you can just download it so you can de get different uh, means you can either download it for windows debian centos mac os but at present we want to set up our virtual environment in windows machine so we'll try to download it for windows so if you we'll click on windows machine you can see on the leftmost cor uh, this corner means here you can see uh, the link that is going to be downloaded so i have already downloaded it and i'll show you the file what has been downloaded so if i'll go to my download folder then you can see i have already downloaded this vagrant the another software that we need to download is virtualbox so we'll try to download that also and we can go to this link and in my browser the link will get opened so virtualbox also you can download for either windows mac os and linux distribution system so we are using windows as our host machine so we'll download it for that so i have already downloaded it so i don't want to download it again but you can download it from those two links or by either searching it on google so you get these two software and it's a just simple process of installation like we install any other software in windows so just will double click it and it will open a pop up and it can ask for some uh, requirement that where you want to install we have to just click next 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 it is at see it is presently computing the space requirement that is being needed so i have already installed it and it is very easy process to install uh, if you are using this course then i think that you must know how to install simple softwares in windows so i am not going to reinstall it i have just shown you that you can just same way you can double click on virtual box it will open a pop up and then uh, this windows installer will come then you can just press next 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 and it will install for that so this was all about how to install vagrant and virtual box so vagrant is a layer above this virtual box and when we install this vagrant machine when we install this vagrant software then we get a command line tool and this command line tool i say you it is a magic means how people have developed vagrant it is just a magic so this i'll show you by going to my command line tool means i am already having uh this is my command line tool means i am not using windows cmd i have installed uh, baboon for that this is the baboon software uh, i'll be having one course on it means how to set up your development environment for this vim and everything it just feels like linux environment here but this course is for vagrant so this is my command line terminal command line tool i am using baboon so when vagrant is installed it gives me a command line tool that is vagrant so if i see i can see vagrant and if if i'll hit enter then i'll get the details about it come on it has become slow yes so you can see this is the different options that you can use what are the commands like box connect this i will see it later on but if you install vagrant then you will get a command line tool remember and the command line tool is called vagrant 